Well, I really hope that you enjoyed that special look at the Calamunda Camel Farm. Now we're going to take a look at another fantastic Perth Hills venue or opportunity with the Mountain Bike Collective. There are fantastic trails up in the hills where you can mountain bike, you know, take your family and, and go for a ride. So let's go take a look at that. Yeah, my name is Cameron. I'm from Kalamunda Mountain Bike Collective, president, acting president at the time. I uh, live in the Swan Valley and um, been in Perth for all my life, so a local. So with Kalamunda Mountain Bike Collective, I guess the, the most I look forward to coming out and, and getting out in the, the, the bush, enjoying the, the natural environment, getting out with your mates, um, coming out and building, building trails and riding bikes. Uh, so the the network all started for an opportunity to get mountain bikers off the walk trails and that sort of started around 2004. Uh, there was a long process of uh, going through and doing uh, risk assessments and hygiene and just checking with the local land managers and uh, stakeholders on what was required to get these trails out here. Um, so that process was about four years. So around 2008 is when we actually got out here and started building building on the um, existing trails that were out here. Um, and from then on, it was about 2012 when the trails were actually opened up. And from then we've kind of expanded and developed on those networks. Uh, so with mountain bikers, what they're looking for when they come out to Kalamunda is, is, is something a bit bit more unique. Uh, a lot of these trails were hand cuts, single track sort of styles. It's not a bike park as such. We do have uh, something for everyone out here. But yeah, it's a bit of a unique sort of area. Um, we have our lovely pea gravel to, to deal with. Um, we're sort of limited with our elevation in Perth. So we, we make do with what we've got. Uh, I guess the opinion of riders um, out here is, you know, there's probably enough to cater for the, the beginner sort of rider and the intermediate sort of rider. There's been a, a, a demand for more advanced trails um, and we try and cater for everyone, but I guess we can build what, what we have to, to, to try and keep everyone satisfied and we really sort of rely on extra volunteer help for those sort of trails and funding. Yeah, so for people coming out to ride the first time in the network, it um, can be a bit daunting. It's quite easy to come out here and, and, and try and find your way for an, uh, an experienced rider. But for new riders, I guess, coming out uh, with someone that you, you know, is maybe familiar with the area is a good way of going about it. We have uh, maps located through the trail network. We have uh, brochures as well that people can take out with them. There's also uh, apps on your phone which you can use to find out where you are in real time. And can you tell yes, we also have social rides, uh, a monthly beginner social ride and that's sort of catered for new riders. Um, we also have social rides which is a general social ride. Again we cater for beginners on there but it's more orientated at uh, a general social ride and then we also have a monthly beginner ride so yeah we have two social rides each month um, and that's great for everyone. Uh, with this uh, the time at Kalamunda we've seen a lot of recent changes and it's all a positive step forward for more trails out in the network. We're, we're looking at a, a five-year sort of plan to, to hopefully get a lot more trails out here, new trails. At the moment with the concept plan we probably have around 18 kilometres of trails earmarked to be built um, along with infrastructure and facilities at the existing car parks um, and as a club as a general I think we've, what we're doing is, is moving forward quite, quite well uh, in, in growing the network and, and the community base um, so yeah. The sport itself has been growing quite significantly over the last few years. Um, I guess a lot more people want to try and get out and get in the outdoors, um, a bit more health conscious these days. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming and, you know, we've seen the, the sport grow so much. Why is a good question. 
whether it's um, recent climate and you know the, the COVID side of things has, has got people more outdoors, but um, it's been a bit of a hidden secret, I guess, and now people are catching on and more and more are out there wanting to, to do it. So we are the custodians of the, the Kalamun mountain bike network and as part we are responsible for looking after and maintaining the trails. And in doing that we run monthly maintenance, maintenance days. Um, so they're a regular monthly maintenance day where volunteers will come out and assist KMBC with uh, the upkeep of the trails. And we we've Quite often we'll get um, contractors in as well to assist KMBC and also help to upskill volunteers to give them the tools they need to you know, assist KMBC in, in looking after the trails which we all love to ride. I think the best way to get involved is um, getting onto the Facebook chat groups, learning about uh, the social rides, even getting into your local bike shops. They're all aware of what's out in your local area. Um, but yeah, come along to one of the social rides would be a great way to get to meet people. Even our trail building sessions we have out here, it's a great way to um, meet with people and, and learn a bit more about the network and meet some friends and, and go out and ride. Well, I hope you really found that fascinating. The Mountain Bike Collective up in the Perth Hills. There are tons of mountain bike opportunities in terms of trails that you can ride on. You can take your family and have an absolutely fantastic, fun day out in the Perth Hills.